Well, today is November 27th, 22. Um, today was interesting. Believe it or not, even after everything, I still had a couple re-reads, not many. Um, people showed up, um, and, um, they, uh, somebody called them. And said, uh, they found out they made everything up. Nobody better say a word while you're in here. Well, they gave up saying stuff to me the other day. A lot of them did. Uh, that Eric showed up November 18, 22. Uh, Friday, it's a Friday. Um, Walmart 62 by the hair salon. Um, mm -hmm. They got big old camera tape and audio. And they got the same in the hair salon. Uh, them screaming how... Um, he, he, it was his idea to say they taped me before, his idea to do all this, and it was all him and not me, for everyone to turn on me. And he thought it was funny that they went along with it, and they fell for it. And he's standing out there, ha, 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 laughing at him. okay? And the other guy's like, is that what's going on? Yeah. And he's mocking all these people for helping him, okay? Well, that took care of a lot. People don't like to be made fools of. Welcome to my world. Okay? My one son didn't even know they were lying on him and his family. That he was supposed to be helping Dave and Michelle get everything. Lying on me for the shower scene in the other room. And lying that they, yeah. They are supposed to have an attorney coming after me. And when I tell them that people are saying I have charges. Why on earth would they say you have charges? As if you do anything wrong. <laughs> they were lying on him. So I wouldn't talk to him. They lied to all these people. They were helping Dave in the shower scene in the other room. And they knew nothing. Michelle's family is quite evil. Causing such a chaos thing. You know, I got to thinking. You know, they said. November 20th, Central Baptist, about 1030. I went to the restroom. Now I have phones tap from the case. From the protective light case. And these people sold it so everybody heard. Okay. Women come in the restroom. And they said such and such as friends is here. We all know that. Those men would rather die than let her have that subsidy money that's attached to that account. Okay. And this whole thing is about that. They thought it would come out of their budget and all this other excuses. Why they didn't give it to her. This is over that money. You got to think, this is their scam. My friend worked at the prosecutor's office, one of them. He said they had trouble in Stark County with agents and police um, taking back door deal and letting people get victimized and uh, killed for money and that they were taking deals and they had to correct it in the prosecutor's office, okay? Now, think about this. I called the 1-800 line. I, it should, I googled who's over Portage County, it's Akron. FBI can be pulled and work anywhere in the United States, but on a regular basis, their jurisdiction is where they're at. So, it should have went to Akron. Should have went to the Canton Courthouse, FBI. No. Exactly. Shouldn't even known about it until it was open. And the agent that called me back was stationed there. He's the one that told on me. He's the one that badgered me into a false statement of lying under a threat of arrest. Okay. Now, this is their scam they're running out of that courthouse. Okay. They're going after people's government subsidies. I bet if they pulled those cases, how many people did not get their government subsidy? We're, okay. It's sort of like Social Security. If, you know, you're disabled, you can't work, or you're elderly, you can't work. Well, just like the uh, vets got their uh, income from uh, different things through them, through the military, okay? Their government subsidies. Well, the government sets up a subsidy for a supplemental uh, income from um, victims in the witness protection programs. They get 60 grand a year, okay? 
that way because they're, they're have been exposed to or traumatized by a crime so bad they had to be put in a witness protection program. So their life is forever changed. So since their life is forever changed, the government takes care of them now. Okay? So they get 60 grand a year. Do they have a right not to release that? It's government subsidies meant for that one person attached to that case. No. Do they have an opinion not to release it? No. That would be like somebody in the Social Security office. Somebody gets of age. They get their Social Security. They see the name and went, I don't like them. I'm going to stop it. What would happen to that Social Security office person? They get fired for stealing. Mishandling funds. Extortion. And then when you're doing it for yourself and for personal gain, it's racketeering. How much you want to bet if they would pull that where that agent was located, they pull those cases, how many people didn't get their subsidies, uh, their supplemental income from the case that they either died, committed suicide, they pushed them that far, or they got put in uh, jail on crimes they didn't commit. How much you want to bet they have extorted money out of victims that they were supposed to be protecting and instead of went and helped enemy to steal that subsidy from the government. Because like they said at Central Baptist Church on the 20th, it's all over that subsidy money attached to the case. See, I should have got a card right away. I should have got money to live on. And where Dave pulled all the money out of the checking account and I had to sell things to, for food and water because you couldn't drink the water up there because it was toxic. That I should have never went hungry. Ever. Um, I was at Mercy Medical on the 24th of November, 22. The nurse was talking to a lady. They were taping audio outside my room. Okay. Um... We all heard that Eric make fun of us for falling for this. Nobody will ever say a word to her. Well, that agent that bullied her into saying she was lying when she wasn't. Some of those men were so mad at her that he bullied her that far that they decided to run some experiments on her too. And I told him, cut it out. None of this is funny. Then put him in jail for attempted murder. Okay. And she better not have any harm because it. Ma'am, I have a lot of harm done to my body. These bastards from hell have almost killed me. They have almost killed me. You laugh me with the worst bastards from hell. They need to be arrested. They're cold-blooded murderers that will kill you for your subsidy, government subsidy money. Okay. Well, they're talking outside my room. And, um... About everything. Told you. I went in Walmart. November 23rd. We all heard that man make fun of us for falling for this. No one will ever say a word to you again. It's nice. I can go in stores. People don't come up and say something mean to me. They realize they made, were made fools out of. Well, the people have acted like they live in the ghettos of New York. Where people are extremely poor. But then they could go out and get like a grocery store job and bag groceries and make an honest living or pump gas. But they'd rather take a knife or a gun and stick you up for your cell phone, your shirt, your shoes. And act like ghetto people that would rather knife you and then actually try to make a living for themselves. Not all New Yorkers are like that. I came from New York. Uh-huh. But I'll tell you what, in some of those ghettos, they'd rather kill you than go to work. Let us take what you have. And these people have got as low as an ice cream shake, a milkshake. They have got as little as a $60 shirt to help out in this. This is how pathetic these people have got. Now, like I said, Michelle is a young blonde girl. She goes to a faith family church. She admitted her dad was FBI. He worked the case. She admitted to seeing me on the toilet in Ravenna. She was a peace sweater girl. 
She said she had me beat and tortured and she could have anybody being tortured to her friends. She could just have to ask those guys. Okay? I guess my ex-husband showing the tape of the beat and torture and breaking around faith in my church that he had me beat and tortured. This one guy I know said if he tries to show it to him, he will put his nuts through his throat. I'll handle it himself. People ought to be more like that. I was found innocent of everything in 18. My whole family spoke highly of me. Oh, that's another thing they said outside of my room at Mercy Medical. I found out no one actually really said anything bad about her before. Mm -mm. My whole family spoke highly of me in 18. They caught Melissa's kids dating. They were lying because they wanted, for the house wasn't meant for Grandma, it was meant for Auntie Shell and Papa. And Grandma needs to get out and then later on to Flora for we're making everything up their games that pretend. Uh, all the police know they lied. That's why nobody questioned me. They did come up and tell me they found them lying. Because there was nothing to question. That's why I've never had Miranda rights. I've never been prosecuted. And I've never been found guilty. Because they found them lying for the girlfriend. To get the house. She's that pathetic. That Michelle. That Michelle is a young blonde girl. Faith Family Church. Krista uh, knows who she is. She's a faith family counselor. A divorce counselor. Um, she knows who she is. So does a lot of the people in the church. Um, she's even said her dad, FBI, works the case. Uh, she even said she dated Dave at one point and that she had me raped. Okay? And she could have anybody raped. She acts like she's some kind of mob goddess. And they all kiss her ass because she's an FBI agent's daughter. They're running the scheme, stealing people's government subsidies. Um, that's exactly what's going on. Because like they said at Central Baptist, this, this is all over that money attached to the case. I never got it. And with the time accumulating, it's worth like 250000 right now. And I get it for the rest of my life. That agent told on me the night before. They've already verified it. They verified he bullied me into a fake st statement of saying where I try to tell on Dave what happened at Huntington Bank. You liar, you confess your liar, I'll put you in jail. You hear me, you say it, or else, and I'll write it until I said it. Um... It's not legal. No coarse confession is admissible. And then badger me into staying quiet or knowing to help you. And that's so fake. And he doesn't have that kind of authority. And they know they can't go along with it. And they already know he bullied me into a false statement. He was the one that told on me. And um, the way they put it, the idiot did all this for his family to get everything I had in life. Uh, Dick, Michelle was one of Dave's girlfriends. Where they keep saying it's Judge Pete's daughter. Judge Pete's daughter could be Lauren, the big heavy set blonde girl, or the pretty dark haired girl. Uh, and there was a Michelle. Uh, and the long young blonde girl, uh, 1920, said that she was an FBI. Why would she want a 60 year old man? Why would she go out with him? Why would they even be part of this? Because this is where to the point, why? And then you think they're just stealing garbage from mint subsidies. So they see somebody going to be going into a witness protection program. They grab the case. They set it up. They steal the money and let those people get victimized start killed. And they steal the money. It's all over stealing government subsidies. It's guaranteed money. That's exactly what it is. They're stealing government subsidies. Let's see. I was found innocent of everything in 18. And that's where I look at these people with amazement. The police have even told them. You know, this weird guy named Kurtz involved said, if Kurtz just found out those kids were lying, he is slow. That was like, you're going mad. Maslin police has documented him in games to pretend. Um, I was found innocent of everything in 18. They yelled out. They got to the point they were tired of it last year. November 7th or 8th, Walmart, West Tusk. They found all the kids lying in 2018. They screamed it out trying to get people to stop. But yeah. Like I said, I was found innocent of everything in 18. That shower scene in the other room done by that Eric. And date rape drugged and photoshopped everything. It's pathetic and it's stupid. And him laughing at all these foolish people for helping out. And mocking them. 
like the nurse at Mercy Medical, nobody thought it was funny when Eric made fun of all of us for helping out Miss and pulling for it. He made fools out of everybody. Well, yeah. there's some other people down here. Karen around the house state case. An agent opened up the protected custody case for an FBI informant. Had an officer talk to Dave. Main officer that went to Dave. The worst thing he ever did wrong, honey. It's been over in Park Lane. We can wipe that one out. Because they caught Dave. When I went where that weird man showed up for every idle word you tell on us, I'll turn it on you. I'm like, who are you? He said, you try to leave Dave, I'll list your Tom list. I'm like, who are you? He's like, you know that bruise on your leg? No, it's up by my private area, by my hip. And I'm like, yeah? He's like, and we're in the middle of Walmart. And I'm like, yeah? He's like, I use sodium pentothal on you. You know what you told me? Now, I've never met this man. You told me you've been over him probably once. And we're in this one night down the accidentally seen your butt and you had a life of pain because of it. And I'll just show him lost for it. I got away from that break. I went home. I'm like, Dave, I always wore the grandma nightgown underwear and a house coat when the grandkids were over. I know you did. Leg and sweater and a house coat when the grandkids were over. I know. I said, besides the grandma nightgown and some laces, I kept for you. Um, um, all those other nightgowns are brand new from last, last year. I know that. I didn't even know that. That guy worked for Dave. He, in front of the investigators, he was admitting that he had been date rape drugging me. Because you can't get sodium pentothal you lie under. And telling me to say crazy crap like that and changing things. Mm-hmm. And that he was kidnapping me chemically. So they already knew they were already messing with me before. Mm -hmm. And so where they verified, I always wore the modest nightgown and underwear in a house coat. And I had a leg and sweater in a house coat. Where it was, ooh, grandma was on the back of your legs, fair because veins here. I'll tap a while I get changed. They didn't see my touch. See, that was one of the main lies because that guy, they raped up me and told me to say it before. And then caught him admitting in front of investigators that he was using amnesia drugs on me and telling me to say crazy stuff before. And he worked for Dave. See what I mean? That's why nobody ever asked. That's why the worst thing you ever did wrong on is bend over him probably. Don't let me fall the back of my knees. You can wipe that one out. He's the main officer that went to Dave. I found innocent of everything. My whole family spoke highly of me. In 18. And they did. They should. I almost died to save him. Like some of the girls from the case. She almost died to save everyone. And no one even knows it. Then tell them. Everybody tell them. Tell them what that church did. Tell them what Dave did. Tell them what I lived through to save them. Tell them. When I'm not around, tell them. And the government that's here, I need medical treatment right away. And from all the evil they did to 